What's up guys, I'm very excited about this educational series as a whole. I'm very excited about my role in it and I wanted to take something that, um, you know, a topic that I'm very passionate about and a topic that I think as we get further and further into the social media generation is one that continues, can, is needed to be, you know, brought to the forefront, we need to be reminded about and, and overall what I want to talk about is what your first five years of physique development, whether that's bodybuilding, whether that is uh, men's physique, whether that's you know women's physique, whether that's classic, whatever it is, I want to talk about what that should really look like. And to start off this series, what I think is most important is having realistic expectations. And again, the reason why I brought up social media right off the bat is because I continue to think and as I scroll through social media on a daily basis that our, our expectations are really starting to get skewed um, and it's ruining the process. It's ruining the excitement and the enjoyment for us as, you know, as we're growing and as we're developing our physique. Um, we lose sight of the, the realistic time component that these things should take. So I really, what I really wanna focus on in this initial video is just kind of letting you guys and starting this video with, with where I was at. Um, and not that I'm like the ultimate you know, subject or the ultimate athlete, um, but I wanna give you guys some insight into where I was at. And then as this video series goes on, I wanna give you guys insight into things that you could be thinking about, um, finding your why, setting goals, having realistic expectations. These things are all really important. So. To start off about myself, and I specifically wanted to get this setting of this gym. Um, we're at a very cool gym called Madhouse um, here in, in Lithia Springs. I believe it's Lithia Springs, Georgia. Um, but with this video, when I got into bodybuilding, really at the age of 19, um, I started bodybuilding for the competitive aspect of it, for the, the ability to continue to push and, and just drive myself competitively. Uh, but when I got into bodybuilding, I knew, and, and my goals were set up at, what can I accomplish by the age of 25? What can I really attain by the age of 30? Uh, because I really got into this before the social media generation started. So I had realistic expectations of knowing how long it was gonna take to develop something that I was proud of. Um, and then as you know, you see the genetic elite posting and as you see these outliers posting, I think it all kind of really starts to skew our perception as to what's realistic. Um, and not only that, but it's, it's, it's causing us to not really enjoy the process as much as because we're not progressing at the rate that we think that we should be progressing on based off of social media expectations. So just to really encourage you guys, if you guys get into this, what I want you to, to really set for, for you is how you should go about progressing. And I wanna bring it back to whether you are, were an athlete and, and kind of par draw parallels to athletics. To think about middle school, if you were a middle school player of, of basketball, of football, whatever that was, how were your seasons set up? What were the realistic expectations for those seasons? That is really what we should transfer into physique development because I think we have this goal of, okay, I'm gonna turn pro you know, in a year. And, and granted, there are people that do that and it's incredible. There, there are people that rise to the top of the IFBB in a you know, very short time frame. that's incredible. But for the greater majority of us, the greater majority of the people that I think are coming to me for information, for insight, that's not us, that's not me. Most likely that's not you. So really reset your expectations based off of what you did in middle school. If you were you know, playing in athletics in, in, in college or in high school, what did you do during those periods? Because you didn't think in middle school, okay, I'm gonna be a pro in two years because that's not realistic, nor is that the path that you should go on. You need to go through middle school, you need to go through high school, you need to go through college, you know, and, and that's kind of how I view bodybuilding or, or physique development is the fact that we need to develop our physique for a long time and then we need to compete and then we need to win a class and then after we win a class we need to win a couple overalls and then we need to shoot for top 10 at nationals and then we need to shoot for top five at nationals and then we need to shoot for our pro card you know but we have this thought process of I'm gonna win my first show I'm gonna go to a national qualifier the next year I'm gonna win my pro card like and it's just not realistic. So the overall theme of this video, the overall theme of this series, is just to kind of really reset things for you guys to know what's realistic, how to go about them, what to expect, and ultimately to really just to, to enjoy the whole process a lot more because you're not putting unrealistic expectations on yourself where you feel like you have a gun to your head that you have to accomplish these things in a short window of time. So again, I'm really excited about this. I know I'm not old, um, but I have a lot of years under me and hopefully I can share some experience and knowledge with you guys to allow you guys to enjoy this a lot more.